Bro, oh! He does oh! Tricky! What are you doing? Bro, oh! Oh! The blip? <gasps> CC troops are coming out. Oh! Oh, no! It doesn't get there! Rip! The blip doesn't get there. We're back with Tompy Night Empire versus One Hive in the LIC tournament. Hopefully, Rigatoras wakes up for today's match. But we got One Hive going in with the first attack of the match. Tricky going in with a little Pee Wee Wee action with a Valkyrie, four Peckers, and five Super Wizards. Let's see how he's going to do it here against Michael DP's base. We're going to start with an early Warden Walk from the left side of the base straight into the scatter shot. Gonna be able to knock that down nice and early. We're gonna go with a nice aggressive rage as well. Warden just pretends like he doesn't see the Tesla. He's like, mm-mm, I don't care. I'm gonna go for that AD first. We find a second Tesla with the Coco Loon. Oh, is Warden gonna switch targets to the Road Champion? He does. Oh, that's actually bad news. Is that gonna cost him a second rage and the Skelly Trap? Bro, oh, he does, oh! Tricky, what are you doing? Oh, the warden ability's popped. He's already used two rages and a freeze, bro. This is like worst case scenario. Yikers. Oh, no. Down goes the scatter. Warden will... Well, the funnel's made. We can start now if he wants to. There go the peckers. There's the wall break. There go the peckers and the wee-wees. Everybody making their way inside. He already lost the warden ability and he's about to lose the warden. He has to freeze just to keep the warden alive. Oh my gosh, this is getting scary. There goes the jump spell to get him access to the core. We need to blimp the town hall. Normally you get the blimp and the warden ability, but we don't have a warden ability. Whew. Yikes. There goes the, oh, and he's still doing the long blimp. Oh, dude, this is so scary. The ball's on this man. Bro, oh, oh, the blimp. <gasps> CC troops are coming out. Oh, oh no, it doesn't get there. Rip, the blimp doesn't get there. Hey, did he already use the Royal Champion? No, thank God. He's gonna have to save the two-star after this. Yikes, what's he gonna do? Pops a Queen ability. Mm. Where's the Royal Champion at? He only has one freeze for her as well. The Queen over on the right, she's gonna die to the scatter. And what? Tricky, what are you doing, sir? You rascal. Why would you drop the Royal Champion at three? Oh my gosh, you needed to drop her at six. We're actually throwing, brother. Oh gosh. He already used his poison. There's still lava pups everywhere. This is not good news for one hive. Mm. We're gonna freeze on the scatter shot and the pups. She's gonna have to pop her ability. We're nowhere near that town hall. Oh man, I jinxed these guys already in the first attack rip. Road champion goes down. She gets absolutely clashed. That's a big one star for one hive to start off the match. Yikers, dude. Nice try, but not going to be able to do it. The wizard's not able to get the multi-mortar, and it's going to finish at 72% one star. In a steep mountain, they're going to have to climb to get back into this match after that. Machuo is in with the first attack for Tompinai Empire, coming in with a little queen charge, dragon rider action with an inferno baby dragon. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Start off with the queen on the top side of the base. She's going to walk to the right. Funnel the left side a little bit. Looking decent. We got rocket loons in this army comp as well. So no wall breakers. No sneaky goblins. But look at these openings in the walls. He wants Queen to just go in and take that opening. That's going to be interesting. Queen's going to fight the enemy Queen. She gets three shots off before the enemy Queen even targets her. So the rage, I don't think, was actually needed. We're going to drop it just to be safe. She's about to be in range of a bunch of expos anyway. King on the outside. We're doing a little funnel action to get him to go in for the multi. All right. Balloon to test for any seeking air mines. We're gonna drop the Inferno baby for the Eagle. We actually don't need to bro That balloon's gonna 1v1 the Eagle. Nice That's some good value right there. Can save the Inferno baby for something else then. King's gonna go inside. Finds the Skelly Trap He'll be able to knock down the multi as well Rage spell on the Queen. Poison spell to deal with all the CC troops. That's looking decent. King makes the funnel. Queen's gonna continue on her way toward the core We don't have a jump spell for her So she'll have to eventually just beat through a wall. We're gonna blimp the Town Hall nice and early Knock that down. Is it a safe blimp? No tornado trap to stop us. He's got sneakies in there. Yep, down goes the town hall. 
Headhunter to help Queen kill the enemy king, bro. This setup is looking perfect so far. Town Hall does indeed drop. Royal Champion from 1030. She's going to be able to snipe the left scatter shot. Hopefully, Queen beats through a wall to go for the other scatter. And here come the Dargan Riders from the top left side of the base. We're going in with an early freeze. Going to be able to take down the air defense right away. Make our way over to the single target in front of the tower. We're going to keep on freezing that. We got spells for days. He could probably rage up the Dragon Riders if he wants to. Queen finds the Tornado Trap. We're going to rage her up with our last rage. Save her ability for uh, cleanup, I guess. We pop the Warren ability. Keep all the Dragon Riders from taking any damage as we make our way closer and closer to the 730 side where we do have the final Inferno Tower to get through. Queen gets through the Scatter. Queen gets through the Expo. We got to get through this Royal Champion. We're going to freeze her up. Our Royal Champion and a Headhunter are going to work in tandem to absolutely smash her. Ooh, in a good way, too. Down goes the last Inferno Tower, and the Dragon Riders are going to be able to just cruise through the rest of this base. We've got two spells in the bag, and we don't need either of them. This is absolutely smashed. 35 seconds to spare. My goodness gracious, he's got the back end Inferno Dragon for cleanup. Looking good here for Machuo and Tompina Empire with a banger to kick things off in this match. I am a little concerned, though. Normally Rigatora's attacks first, and he didn't today. Urban Legend is in with his second attack for one hive. They gotta start three starring from here on out if they want a chance to beat a team like Tompinai. And they're going in with some rocket loons from the top side. It's gonna be that new tribrid attack that uh, we've seen a couple times here and there. Using dragons, inferno dragons, and dragon riders all together from the top side of the base. Here we go with five skeleton spells to distract. King and queen over on the left. We're gonna blimp the town hall across the map in the warden ability, I presume. One rocket loon to help support. We got a poison spell for the witch and the headhunters. We're gonna be able to take care of all that. Double rage, nice and early. Pop this warden ability. Boom, blimp should make it all the way to the town hall. King pops his ability. He's gonna go run around the bottom side of the base. Skeleton spells all over the place to help distract. Queen's doing a great job on the left side. She needs to snipe some of those air defenses. Hello, tornado. <gasps> Does the town hall still drop? Yeah, the Dragon Rider and the Rage does so much damage to the Town Hall. Down it goes. We can kill the Royal Champion here on the top side of the base. The Inferno Baby will take care of her. Dragon's over on the left. We're going to drop the RC to help support. We're already out of spells. He used everything early. We get through the enemy Queen on the left. Royal Champion's going to have to clear the all these defenses on the 6 o'clock side. There's a lot to get through, actually. I don't know if he's got this. Traps over on the top. All those dragons are looking low on HP. Can they get through the scatter? Please, that Inferno Baby's low. Down he goes. Oh, I don't know if he gets this. He's going to be close. The Archer Tower drops. The scatter's going to drop. He might get this. It's all up to the RC, really. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they switched targets off the scatter. Bro, that Skelly Trap was OP. The scatter drops. Ooh, can RC go get the Archer Tower next, please? Yes. That's the last air targeting defense. There's nothing to kill the Warden except maybe traps, but the RC drops. He doesn't have any cleanup. The Warden has a minute. Is that enough time? You better hope there's no seeking air mines, bro. He might get this. Question mark. This is going to be the longest minute of our lives. <laughs> Woo, he's probably sweating. Please, no seeking air mines, he says. Down goes that gold mine. Down goes the other gold mine. Only 48 seconds. He's got to get through two storages. I don't know. I might not be convinced. He's got some skellies to help, but they're just going to die to the cannon. Uh, 38, 37. Come on. One seeking air mine could end this man's whole career. Oh, the cannon drops, which means the skellies can actually help out. That's tremendous. The storage is low. <gasps> oh, it's all up to whether or not there's a seeking air mine. If there is, the base holds. Oh, oh. Seeking air mine? Yes? No? Mm, wow, there's not! He's got it! Urban Legend with the three-star wowzers. That was stressful, thinking about whether or not he was going to hit a seeking air mine. LOL. It's a three-star for one hive, and maybe, just maybe, they can get back into this match. Rigatorres is in with the second attack for Tompinai Empire. He's awake, and he showed up for his match, and what the heck is he bringing? Bro, he's going in with a Patolino attack. <laughs> Three healers, one golem for the kill squad, 17 rocket loons. Nice. Let's see how he's going to do it. We're starting with the wizard at three. We're going to do a queen walk. Okay, it's not the warden walk like Patolino normally does. We're going to use the queen and the warden together with only three healers. We're going to wall break over here on the south side. So we're going to skip the eagle for now. Headhunter to help get through the enemy king. That's looking decent. 
golem and then a yeti to funnel the bottom side we're gonna do, send the kill squad straight into the scatter shot compartment here on the bottom side of the base gonna be able to take that out nice and early we're all out of wall breakers but he does have the jump spell to get him all the way through the core here we go send everybody in we're gonna take out the enemy queen very quickly jump into the middle of the base poison spell to help kill the cc troops but that poison was god awful bro not gonna lie <laughs> he missed everything rip Another headhunter to help. We can pop the key, the warden ability soon. He already popped king ability. Warden, step up. Pop the warden. Pop the warden. Oh, we got the blimp for the town hall across the base. Is it going to be a blizzard? I think it's going to be another mid attack blizzard. Unfortunately, he didn't get the king inside the warden ability. That's normally part of what makes the kill squad so strong is keeping that king alive for like ever and a half. Blimp gets there. Are the super wizards too close? <gasps> the tornado trap might spin them into the town hall. No, it spins them into the expo. Whew, town hall goes down. He still has more invis, eh, but he's not going to use them. He's going to save them for the RC. The kill squad got absolutely wrecked in the middle of the base. It's literally just a queen with two healers now. Even the warden thought he was a golem and went out and got in front of the queen like a dummy. Yikes. But remember, he still has like 15 rocket balloons. He's got a lot of invis. Going to have to pop the RC ability. Going to have to pop the queen ability. Use the invis, maybe, on the RC. Perhaps. Potentially. Possibly. He really doesn't want to. Sir. You're going to let her die? Invis the RC? No? He's going to save it for loons? I guess. He can freeze, bro. He still might get this. Hold up. Those rocket loons are kind of insane. Yo, does he even need the spells? What the heck? Rocket loons are OP. They just sniped everything. He still has an invis for the queen. He's got a leftover freeze. Three rocket loons in the bag? What? This attack is awesome. Minions for cleanup on the right side. Minions for cleanup on the left. He can save the last two rocket loons for cleanup. Down goes the wizard tower, and that's it. He's got plenty of time. Rigatoras with the OP Patolino attack. We're going to have to come up with a name for this strategy if, if multiple people are going to start using it. Kill squad, rocket loons, bro. Rolo, kill squad, Rolo. Let's call it the Rolo attack. I don't know. Shoot. 25 seconds to spare. Doesn't even need the last freeze. Beautiful. Three star from Rigatoras and Tompinai Empire are now two for two. Spyro is in with the next attack for one hive. They got a three star again just to have a chance to stay in this match. And again, they're going in with a tribrid. This seems to be the signature attack for one hive right now. Let's see if they can get it done against React's base. Okay. We're going to go in with the king from 12 to walk to the left, it looks like. Or is he going to go back to the right? He's going to go back to the right. Nice pathing. I think that's what he wanted. The Tribrid coming in from the 10 o'clock angle. Here we go with the Warden on air to support. One Dragon over on the left to help make the funnel. And Blimp to Town Hall. Use a nice early Warden ability. We're going to wall break the King in at 12. He's going to go try to take out the Eagle and the Royal Champion. There goes the Warden ability. Double Rage to help them out. We still got to send the Blimp for the Town Hall. And he's doing it without the Warden ability. <sighs> ballsy. Ballsy, ballsy, ballsy. Queen from 12 o'clock to help assist the King. Lots of Skelly Traps. Lots of Freeze Traps. Freeze Traps? What? Skelly traps? I meant skelly spells and free spells. <gasps> There's traps on the blimp. Ooh, but he gets there. You pop it manually. Perfect. Sweeper won't be able to stop it from the town hall from going down. Nice. Freeze up in the core again. We still got one more freeze and a poison spell in the bag. Must have been only air targeting troops in the CC or maybe some headhunters that died super early. But we're looking pretty decent. Clan Castle drops, so we don't have to worry about the Royal Champion pulling out a Hound. Last free spell at 3 o'clock to help the RC get through the scatter. The dragons are thinning out, but I think he's got it. The RC and the Queen working in combination together on the right side of the base with a giant out in front to help support. Still a handful of dragons alive on the bottom side. Even with the Tesla farm there, it's smashed all day long. Beautifully done from Spyro. And one hive, if they keep tripling like this, all they need is two defenses and they could be back in the match, ladies and gentle fish. 90 seconds to spare. That was a fast three star. Beautifully done from one hive. And let's see if Tompinai Empire can continue their triple streak. React is in with the third attack for Tompinai Empire. Coming in with a little Queen Charge Rider action. Early blimp. Probably a Yeti Bomb. Let's see how much value it can get. We're going to pop it right there with the Rage Spell. We want to get the Road Champion in. Oh my gosh, dude. They just like two slap her and down she goes for the count. Yikes. Get the CC pull as well. That's a really nice value Yeti Bomb. Queen snipes the Headhunters. She'll be able to deal with the Lava Dog here in a second once it moves over toward her. Wall break in so Queen can deal with the air defense. And then it looks like we're going to charge the Town Hall. Looking pretty decent here. I like the setup for React. It would have been a bonus if the Yeti Bomb got this Expo right here. Because I think that Expo is going to end up locking onto the Queen. And it's just going to be a little bit more DPS on her, which is unfortunate. But still might be okay. 
poison spell to help her deal with all the pups. That's looking decent. Queen gonna step up to the left, then back inside. Nice little Coco Loon there, testing for any traps, but we don't find any. Queen needs to step up for the air defense sooner rather than later. He might lose a healer here. We're gonna rage up, trying to save that healer. He's gonna freeze. He really doesn't want to lose any healers, bro. That healer's on one HP. Second wall breaker is a goober. Third wall breaker is also a bigger goober. What the heck, bro? Where are you going? Rip. What's the queen gonna do? Oh, at least she picks a good wall. Jeez, those wall breakers are being silly. What's the next step of the plan, though? He doesn't have a jump spell. Queen won't be able to get the core scatter. I'm guessing just Dragon Rider from the top side of the base? Maybe? He still has the king to use as well. Next rage is in on the queen. He's gonna use the king on the outside. Dragon Rider from the top side of the base. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Only a minute and 25 left on the clock. That could be enough time. We'll see. King's walking the wrong way. That's a big yikes. Now he'll go back the other way. Headhunters for the king. Where's the Royal Champion going to be used? Okay, we're going to send her as well. We're trying to hold on to the Warden ability just a little bit longer until we can pop it for the Headhunters to get all the way to the Queen. Had to pop the Queen ability. Oh, oh! With the Invis, she barely stays alive, bro. She was on 1 HP. That Warden ability was perfect, or was it? Can we get to the enemy Queen? We got to invest a Freeze. Queen on the south side. She's staying alive. We're going to Rage the Dragon Riders on the right. That's our last spell. We still have the King ability. You can pop that. We still got the RC ability. Which is going to come in handy for this back in Tesla farm. Queen should stay alive forever. I think he's got it. King can pop his ability. Him and the RC are going to cruise through this Tesla farm. That's a three star all day long. Bro, Tom and I Empire are on a roll today. They're looking in good form. Queen going to step over here for the Archer Tower. She can move farther southwest and grab the rest of the buildings over there. Still has three Dragon Riders alive. The King and the Yak that never died. The Queen that survived the entire attack. RC ability for a cleanup. 16 seconds to spare. And a third three star on the board for Tompinai Empire. Infinity is in with the next attack for one hive. They got to triple out and hope for a massive defense. Let's see if he can get it done. He's going in with a little peewee-wee action of his own. All right, all right, all right. Looks like we're going to go with for the Warden Walk for the Town Hall. Might take quite a bit of time, especially if he targets one of the storages before he targets the Town Hall. Warden going to step up, find some Teslas as well. He can snipe all of those. <clears throat> okay. After the gold mines go down, he can step up for the air defense. Eventually, we'll find our way to the town hall, but it's taken him like two and a half years to get there. He sends a barbarian. Is that just testing for traps? What the heck? Healers on the ward. That's going to pull a skelly trap, which is actually going to waste a bit of time. We're going to rage up the warden. Would be nice to have like one archer or something to help snipe the uh, skellies. Instead, it takes him like an extra six seconds just to get through all the skellies. Jeez. Maybe dragon on the bottom side. There's just all the Teslas over here. We already used the rage, and he hasn't even activated the town hall. I think that means we're gonna have to use a second rage. Yeah, it does. Shoot. Ah, that's not good news, man. We're already at a minute and 55, and he hasn't even touched the town hall? And a second skelly because of the early wall break? Oh, Infinity, you're throwing. He's got the Valkyrie. They can one-shot the skellies. Okay. Town hall finally goes down a minute and 40 on the clock. This better be the fastest peewee-wee you've ever seen in your life. Normally, you don't want to finish that fast, but in this case, we really need to. Here we go. Freeze the Expos to get some damage off the Warden. Healers get him back up to full health. A minute and 30 on the clock. Wee Wee's are entering the base. Jump spell to the core. King and Siege Barracks from the south side. One more wall breaker to get him access to the scatter shot and the Queen over there. Need the Super Wizards to go inside, please, sir. There's the early Warden ability. Oh, no, 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 no. Those Super Wizards are the imposter. Pop the Warden ability. Squishy CC, so we'll be able to get through that pretty quickly. Freeze the Expos again. That Warden got targeted again, and he steps left. He's going to get targeted again. Bro, that Warden is a rascal. He actually thinks he's a golem. Another freeze on the right side so we can get through that enemy queen and the scatter shot. Warden's going to die because he's just a goofy goober, dude. Queen, nobody paths to that left side multi? Finally, the queen goes to get it. He needs to send the RC, and he drops her from 3 o'clock. Only 45 seconds left to go. Valkyries in his siege barracks are going to help kill the enemy king. He's got a headhunter to help support as well. We lost all the healers in the core. We lost all the peckers. We lost all the wee wees. This is bad news bears for infinity. Pops the queen ability, can grab a few more buildings. She can grab the air defense, then she's gonna get stuck on a wall. If we still had healers, I'd maybe call this a time fail. But without healers, without time, it's just a fail fail. Down goes the road champion. Oh, not quite yet. She's staying alive on one HP. Oh, the giant bomb rip. She goes down. 
Valkyrie's on the outside. That multi-targeting Inferno Tower is really the only threat left, but he's going to run out of time anyway. Only seven seconds to go. I think he's going to get close to 90%, but not quite 90%. Nope, 86. Almost 88. Those two buildings were super low on the top side, but it's going to be an 86% fail for Infinity GB. And now Tompi Knight Empire just need two stars to win the match. Michael DP is in with the fourth attack for Tom Pina Empire coming in with a little queen charge hog action. Okay. See what he's going to be able to do. Queen coming in from the right side. And we want her to walk up. 27 hog riders in this attack. Headhunter to help support her as well. Queen's going to be able to go straight in for the eagle artillery compartment. We're going to wall break there. I guess we're going to blimp the town hall. He's got a blimp activated. Three rages, one invisibility. Two heals for the hogs. We're sending the Royal Champion early. Okay, is she going to be able to get the single? We do have the invisibility spell. She's going to end up pulling the CC troops, though. Maybe earlier than he wanted as well. Mmm, Lava Dog. There goes the invis. RC, come on. Don't get distracted by the CC troops. Perfect timing. Poison spell for the headhunters. The skelly traps. The hound. RC gets through the single. Pop her ability. Is she going to get the expo as well? Yes. She pulls a second skelly. No, she gets distracted by the queen. Rip. Or is she not even in range of that queen? How did the queen snipe her? Look, she's not even in range. That's some BS right there. Mad Hav's queen is uh, something else. We're going to rage the queen again. She's struggling to get through those pups. Eventually, she gets through it with the help of the minions. Oh! Did he just fat finger the blimp? Bro, he popped it early. Uh-oh. We don't have... Oh, we got to freeze. Got to use the freeze. Got to use the freeze. Sir, freeze. Thank you. Town hall still goes down. It costed him an extra freeze. Pops the queen ability on the south side. For her to get through the enemy queen. There goes the last rage. And we send the hogs from the bottom. Yes. Did his blimp just catch like 17 seeking air mines? It looked like he popped it early. But maybe I'm wrong. We're going to pop this warden ability super early. Keep the hogs alive as we make our way into the scatter. Going to heal up as well. Some headhunters for the royal champion. The king on the left side to distract some of these defenses. Oh, queen's not getting the multi in the core though. There goes the second heal. That's our last heal. We still got the king ability. But I don't know if this is looking decent. If he had the Royal Champion with the Hogs, then maybe it'd be looking okay. But all the Hogs, bro, they're turning straight into bacon. We still got a multi. We still got a scatter shot. We're going to freeze up right there. Queen is... Holy crap, bro. How many bad walls can you pick? Jeez. She is the worst wall breaker in the game. King on the outside. He's still doing a great job staying alive. Warden thinks he's a golem as usual. Bro, where are you going? Where was he trying to step into? Did anybody else see that? Wizard on the top side to get some extra percent. King's actually going to do a great job at grabbing the scatter shot and clearing that compartment. And the queen is never going to die. This is technically a time fail. <laughs> technically a time fail, as I don't think there's anything that can kill the queen at this point. But with only 15 seconds to go, this one's going to fall short around the 90% mark. Wizard dies on the top side of the base. Queen can clear the core. But after that, there's nothing else he can do. Runs out of time at 91 or 92? Just 90. 91. Okay, nice try to Michael DP, but not quite enough to get it done on this one. Mad have is in with the final attack for one hive. They need a three star and a one star defense to have a chance. Let's see if they can get that three star. Mad have going in with a little dragon with a dragon rider action. I guess we can call it a skybird. Only two dragon riders. You got seven bats for this one as well. Okay. Let's see how he's going to do it. Some rocket loons from the south side of the base. To funnel the wizard tower. Still doesn't get it done. Rip. That's a yikes. One more balloon. Ooh, barely gets it with the crash damage. Dragons from the right side. Here we go. Gonna blimp the town hall and the warden ability, I presume. Probably. Possibly. Potentially. Maybe. We'll see. Here come the dragons with the Dargan Riders. Still have the blimp to deploy. Still have the king and the queen and the royal champion. There was the king up at 12 o'clock, way up there. Where's the blimp for the town hall and the warden ability, sir? What is that blimp angle? Hello? Interesting. Here goes the warden ability. I'm gonna pop it right there. CC troops coming out. We don't have a poison spell. We do have one rage and only one rage. There's a tornado trap in the core. We're gonna rage up the dragons over there. Do you have sneaky goblins? He does. So he wasn't afraid of pulling out a lava dog anyway. Bro, those dragons got absolutely hammered in the middle of the base. They are all dead. And the Warden as well. They got like 30% and that's it. That's a big oof. Royal Champion from 130. Our King already died. Queen's gonna die as well. Yo, this is yikes. What can he do with 7 bats and 4 freezes? 
Hopefully some magic. He's gonna need like 69% out of these bats to have a chance at three star. Ooh. Road champion has to get the scatter shot or else this is a big fail. And she's not gonna get the scatter shot. He needed one more invisibility and she actually could have though. The unicorn is trying to keep her alive. Oh, the scatter so low. One, two wizard towers, two scatter shots. Well, he's got four freezes. What is this bat bomb? I thought it would have been better to bat bomb the other scatter. He's got a giant to distract the other wizard tower. I'm gonna have to freeze up this bottom side wizard tower again. He's trying not to. Yikes. Oof. Nice try right there, but that one not gonna be able to get it done. Wizard tower wakes up and says, <laughs> I can take care of these bats. Down they go. We got a free spell in the bag. Archer at six o'clock. And this one's going to be a low percent attack, bro. Those dragons got no value. The warden ability was late. The rage was late. The dragons all got hammered early. And we get to watch an archer shoot barracks and army camps for like 30 seconds. Unless she gets in range of the mortar. Kind of hope she does just to end our misery slightly earlier. This archer is still up there getting another building as well. That archer gets in range of the mortar. That minion dies to the scatter. Come on, little archer. Get in range of the wizard tower. There she goes. And this one's going to fall short at 58%. Nice try to mad have, but just not quite enough to get it done. Amualeen is in with the final attack of the match. Coming in with some more queen charge. How rad action. Oh, baby. Queen from 9 o'clock with a wall breaker. To give her access to the air defense and the enemy king. Which way does she step? Oh. Is she going to go the right way? Oh, she comes back. What a nice queen. We're going to sneak in the little headhunter. Rage spell as well. She's going to get to the enemy queen with ease. Going to be able to take that down. Okay. Queen's going to step up. There's the next wall breaker on the junction. That's looking decent. Going to take out the expo. Do we rage her again to get through the royal champion? Maybe. We probably do need to. Funnels with a wizard at 12 o'clock. There's another headhunter, so we don't need the rage. Please, maybe. He's trying to save it. He needs it for later. He's only got one heal on this attack for the Hog Riders. There goes the king to funnel on the top side. We're going to wall break him in at 12 o'clock. We got a jump spell to get Queen over all the Builder Huts and into the Scattershot compartment. That's looking nice. King should walk up. We're going to blimp the Town Hall. Was that too early? Are the healers in range of the Giga Inferno? I think we're okay. As long as the healers don't switch. If they were my healers, they would definitely switch to whatever's in the blimp. They're not switching. That's good news. We rage up this queen again. Down goes the town hall. We freeze on the top side for the king to clear all those defenses. That's looking decent. Next rage is in for the queen. He's going to sneak in a few hogs to help out with the archer tower. Can jump to the core. We got a partial CC pool because of our sneaky goblins in the blimp. Just a couple of archers so far. There goes the jump to give us access to the back end. The eagle artillery wakes up. We might need to start soon with the piggies. But the queen hasn't even fought the CC troops yet. Here comes the royal champion from the top side of the base. Rage up the queen again, but that's the last rage. We're going to freeze for the Royal Champion to hopefully clear the Tesla and the Warden Tower. Eagle's going to target the Royal Champion. That's not good news. Poison and freeze to deal with the Headhunters. Queen's going to stay alive for five ever. Wizards all around for cleanup. RC staying alive at one HP. If she can get inside the Warden ability, that'd be cash money. Queen on Queen action over here. We'd love to see that. Offensive Queen's going to win. Pop her ability. Pop the Warden ability to save the RC. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. That'd be bonus value. No. Uh, the Warden ability was one second too late. The RC dies. It would have been cash money if we could have kept her alive for that extra nine seconds or however long Warden abilities last these days. No more spells to keep the piggies alive. Lots of bacon being made over here by the bomb tower. Queen gets through the multi. Spring traps springing those hogs into the next dimension. Can we get through this? Mm, I think he does. More springs springing the hogs, but we still got like five of them. We got the Lassie, which is basically a robot hog. We got the Warden doing cleanup on the south side of the base. 18 seconds to go. Queen's beaten through a good wall for once. Eh, but she's not even going to get there in time, is she, to help out? She might. We got lots of cleanup on the outside. Nine, eight, seven. The Skelly Trap to distract. Queen gets through the wall. Five, four, three, two, one. He's looking like Lex Toast today with the 99% time fail, Rip. I feel your pain, bro. I have one of those at least once a day. Yikes. Nice try to Amualeen. Just barely not able to get it done, but it's still going to be a victory for them in today's match. 13 stars do 11, 98% to get.
to 